unsealed search warrants allege Brian Koberger pre-planned Idaho murders. Fox News senior correspondent Laura Engel provides details from the warrants in the investigation of the four Idaho murders and a new report that Brian Koberger sent multiple direct messages to one of the female victims. A single Kentucky mother posted dozens of lengthy, diary-like posts where she professes her love for Brian Koberger, claims to have sent him letters and pictures of herself, and calls the quadruple murder suspect her divine masculine. The woman, who goes by Brittany J. Hislope on Facebook and claims to have a 16-year-old son, has written about her feelings for Koberger nearly every day, sometimes multiple times a day since early January. I know that the last I had heard weeks ago is that Brian is being kept isolated from other inmates, and so I know that we do both likely sleep alone as I mentioned in a past post, Hislope wrote in her most recent post, which was dated shortly after midnight Friday. Although I mentioned something about getting certain confirmations from him about his feelings and him being my divine masculine, sick, I don't mean that I reach out to him to receive anything back at all from him, since I do that from a place of caring about him, sharing my feelings, and knowing what a serious situation he's in. Inside Idaho murders suspect Brian Koberger's unusually long route home to Pennsylvania. Photo of Brittany J. Hislope Photo of Brittany J. Hislope Brittany J. Hislope via Facebook Hislope's first post was dated January 4, which was five days after Koberger was arrested in connection with the murders of four University of Idaho students, Kylie Goncalves, 21, Madison Mogan, 21, Zana Kernital, 20, and Ethan Chapin, 20. She used the phrase divine masculine counterpart in several posts and said she knows they're meant to be together because of their astrological signs. Her posts are long, stream of consciousness type ramblings where she defends her love for Koberger that includes graphic details about how she's gone years without sex and searches Google for his images at night. Idaho Murders, BTK Serial Killer on Solitary Confinement and Brian Koberger, I Know How He Feels. There are some men that if they experienced higher intimacy levels and sexual fulfillment, sick, would never go and want to find someone else to be within those ways, and with that said, when I'm fixated on a particular person such as my love interest who I feel is more than that to me, I don't want other men, Hislope wrote on February 1st. I know that even if Brian has been without sex for a significantly long time as I have, it may not be as long as me since the length of time for me is very long as I've mentioned in past posts, but how could people not see it as sad if he's my divine masculine counters like I've thought he is? Brian Koberger enters a courtroom in Moscow, Idaho January 12, 2023 for a status hearing. The accused murderer waived his right to a quick preliminary hearing and will appear in court again on June 26. Brian Koberger enters a courtroom in Moscow, Idaho January 12, 2023 for a status hearing. The accused murderer waived his right to a quick preliminary hearing and will appear in court again on June 26. Kai Iseline Slash Pool In a January 30 post, she wrote, To anyone that says I'm not righteous for having the feelings that I do for Brian, I will say that you likely aren't anyone to judge me in that regard and also you may not understand my emotions and hardships and misfortunes. Also to anyone that judges me negatively regarding Brian and my feelings for him, I'll say that you may not understand certain true love connections, such as twin flames, soulmates, and divine counterparts. University of Idaho Murders Timeline In posts like the one on January 27, Hislope talks about sending photos to Koberger and how she wants her makeup to look perfect. I wish that I could send him photos of me where I've made my makeup and hair and overall self look the best that I can look versus me sending photos that I'm not looking my best she wrote. Photo of Brittany J. Hislope Photo of Brittany J. Hislope Brittany J. Hislope via Facebook Many of the comments on her page plead with her to get help or focus on her son. This woman isn't the first to confess her feelings for a suspected murderer during a highly publicized trial. Koberger's Pennsylvania classmates say he was bright, a warkward, bullied in school. Jeffrey Dahmer one of the most notorious serial killers, received letters while in jail from a love-struck woman that contained X-rated photos and graphic material. 
Lisa Dadio, a retired police lieutenant who teaches at the University of New Haven, told the U.S. Sun in a previous interview that a fascination with serial killers always exists where people became enamored and literally fall in love with the epitome of a bad guy. Photo of Brittany J. Hislope Photo of Brittany J. Hislope Brittany J. Hislope via Facebook She said it usually starts with letters saying they think the killer is innocent, then they might send X-rated pictures and it escalates from there. I think that there's a piece of thrill for the thrill seeker that just wants to be connected somehow or to be the girlfriend, the wife, the boyfriend of so-and-so to a serial killer and this whole notoriety, Dadio said. Idaho murders, Zana Kernadal's mother says lawyer betrayed her to defend Brian Koberger. Meanwhile, Koberger remains in a jail in Lada County, Idaho, where he's held without bail while he awaits trial for his alleged pre-planned attack on the four college students and attempt to cover his tracks. Lada County Magistrate Judge Megan Marshall has issued a gag order on the case, restricting comment from investigators and attorneys for both sides. Brian Koberger escorted to court in Pennsylvania prior to his extradition back to Idaho to face charges in the deaths of Maddie Mogan, Kylie Goncalves, Zana Kernadal, and Ethan Chapin. Inset, Koberger's WSU portrait and the last known image of the victims together. Brian Koberger escorted to court in Pennsylvania prior to his extradition back to Idaho to face charges in the deaths of Maddie Mogan, Kylie Goncalves, Zana Kernadal, and Ethan Chapin. Inset. Koberger's WSU portrait and the last known image of the victims together, the image direct for Fox News Digital, WSU, INS Tiagram. Koberger has been charged with felony burglary and four counts of first-degree murder. He could face the death penalty if convicted. Marshall set Koberger's preliminary hearing for the week of June 26. Chris Eberhardt is a crime and U.S. news journalist for Fox News Digital. Email tips to chris.eberhardt at fox.com or on Twitter at chriseberhardt48.